Peace be with you, and welcome back. As you can see, we're once again at Christ Church in the parish of Woodstock. I'm Harold, and I'm the curate at St. Luke's Anglican Church in Woodstock, in the parish of Woodstock. This is a very big day in the church. Today is Pentecost. We as Anglicans celebrate it as the birthday of the church, an annual celebration. And it's not a, a typical birthday that we would have at home with cake and ice cream and presents. This is a birthday because this is when we celebrate the church beginning. This is when we celebrate the Holy Spirit coming down upon the apostles. And if you can remember back a couple of weeks ago, Jesus said in the gospel that he would see to it that the Holy Spirit came to live with us, to take care of us and guide us until he returned to be with us once again on earth. This is that day. This is the day we celebrate. It's the Holy Spirit coming to be with us, coming to be in us, coming to be around us. This is the day that the Holy Spirit first came to the apostles. This is a day that we celebrate the apostles going out and starting the church, spreading Christianity spreading the teachings of Jesus throughout the land and eventually around the world. This is a wonderful day for us as Christians and followers of Jesus. Because if it weren't for this day, if it weren't for Pentecost, if it weren't for the Holy Spirit coming down to be with us, then there would be no church. This is the day that we celebrate the birthday of not just, not just Christ Church. Christ Church is a building. Not St. Luke's Church, because it's a building. And yes, we refer to them as houses of the Lord, or the house of the Lord. But the church is us. It's in us. We are the church. And we are the church because the Holy Spirit guides us. The Holy Spirit guided the apostles to spread the teachings of Jesus. And in doing that, others took up this same, the same desire, the same, the same fire, the same energy that the apostles had to spread the word and the teachings of Jesus that we study today. If you can remember last week, we talked about being ready. We talked about all of the knowledge of, of the laws of Moses and the Hebrew scriptures and how Jesus opened the minds of the apostles and made them ready. This is what Jesus was making them ready for. The Holy Spirit came down and it entered the apostles. And they didn't sit around and eat birthday cake and cheer for the church and celebrate. They went out into the world. They spoke to people. They preached the Gospels. They told everyone that God was alive, that Jesus was alive, that the Holy Spirit was alive. In them, and around them, and with them. And that's what we try to do now. Normally we would do it on Sundays in our churches, but since we're not allowed into our churches just yet, we're getting closer every day to getting back together in our churches. But 
for now, we're probably still trying to be safe. So it's important for us to tell everyone we know about Jesus. It's important for us to, to reach out. And even if we know these other people are followers of Jesus, that they are Christians too, it's important that every now and then we remind them because we are all brothers and sisters in the family of Jesus, in the family of God. We all love one another and we are all loved by each other and by God and Jesus. And as the Holy Spirit fills us, we can feel that love. And that's why we celebrate Pentecost as the birthday of the church. Because it is a wonderful celebration of a wonderful thing. A desire to fill the world with God's love. A desire to teach Jesus lessons wherever we go. A desire to be together with our brothers and sisters in Christ. And now as we think about our brothers and sisters in Christ, let's take a moment to think about those people in our province who are sick now with many afflictions, many diseases. There are people suffering every day. Let's take a minute to think about them. To bow our heads and say a little prayer and ask for the Holy Spirit to come to them and to heal them and to be with them and to love them. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we pray that the Holy Spirit may be with us. We pray that through your grace, Lord, we can feel the Holy Spirit in our lives. We pray, Lord, that you may grace us with the Holy Spirit and its healing nature to be with those people in Campbellton who are sick with COVID-19, to be with their families and give them love and support. We ask you, Lord, that you may be in every hospital and nursing home and house in our country, in this world, with anyone who suffers from the many ailments, Lord, that we are suffering with right now. We especially mention those, Lord, who, who are on our prayer list. People that we know and love and, and celebrate the Eucharist with. We pray, Lord, that they may one day be healthy and happy through the touch of your hand and the warmth of your heart. And now I pray for you that you may all remain healthy and happy and warm and loved. I pray that this week to come, you may be safe and you may have fun. And don't forget to play when the sun's out and even when the sun's not out. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he comfort you when you're sad and laugh with you when you're happy. And as we go out into the world this week, let us remember the love that he has for, him, for us and be thankful.